Oh, the final thing. Uh, I think that uh, both Nap and Innes get into a, a bit of trouble when they try to explain what determines the value of the state's currency. Okay, and so I think Schumpeter's critique here actually is correct. Okay, we can just say that if the state imposes a 500 euro tax on you, you're going to want 500 euros. Does that tell us what the euros are worth in terms of output in your country or even uh, assets in your country? The answer is no, it does not. Okay, it depends on you know, to put it very simply, it depends on what you have to do to get it. What do you have to do to get 500 euros? Okay, I'm perfectly happy to use a labor theory value. Uh, and I think I'm following Keynes when I do that. Keynes says we only take labor hours and the wage unit. Those two things together tell me what you have to do to get 500 euros. If you're getting paid 5 euros an hour, you're going to have to work a hundred hours to pay your taxes. That gives me the value. Your labor hours times your wage unit. Okay? Or five euros per hour is the value of the euro. Alright? Because that's what we have to do. So we we can't get the value of the currency just out of the tax. That doesn't tell us. We have to know what do you have to do to get the euros, and basically that's going to be labor hours. Although, of course, that's simplistic. Because there are alternatives to working in uh, modern capitalism.